the Prophet has recommended, where a Muslim, if he fasts, it is much more preferable and he'll get more salah. First is, fasting in the month of Muharram, especially Ashura. Number two is, fasting on the day of Arafah. Number three is, fasting during the first ten days of the month of Dil Hajj. Number four, fasting in the month of Shawwal. Number five is, fasting in the month of Shaban. Number six is, fasting during the forbidden months. Ashura Hurum, the forbidden months. Number seven is, fasting on the Ayyam al That's three days in the month, 13th, 14th and 15th of every month. Number eight is, fasting on Mondays and Thursdays. And number nine is, fasting on alternate days of the year. So these are the nine types of fast which the Prophet had specially recommended. So nine different categories. Could you tell us um, which are the most important of all the voluntary fasts? The most important of all the voluntary fasts is fasting in the month of Muharram, especially the Ashura, that is the tenth day of Muharram. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in the hadith of Sai Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2612, where a person asked the Prophet, that which is the most important of the prayers after the prescribed prayers, after the farth prayers, and which is the most important fast after the farth fast, after the fast in the month of Ramadan. Prophet replied, the most important prayer after the farth prayers is the prayer at night. And the most important fast after the fast in Ramadan is fasting in Muharram. So fasting in the month of Muharram is the most important. And a beloved Prophet Muhammad further said, it's mentioned in the hadith of Tirmidhi, in the book of fasting, hadith number 752, the beloved Prophet said, that whoever fasts on the day of Ashura, it is expiation of his sins for the previous years. And all the sins that he did in the previous year, it will be expiated. Another hadith of Sai Bukhari, one number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2004, it says that Ibn Abbas, may Allah be with him, he says that Prophet Muhammad when he reached Medina, he asked the Jews who used to fast on the 10th day of Muharram, that why do you fast on the 10th day of Muharram? So they replied that the Bani Israel got the freedom from the enemies and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them freedom on this day. And Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, he fasted on this day. So Prophet Muhammad replied that we have more right over Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, than you do. And he commanded the Muslims that they should fast on the 10th of Muharram, that is the Ashura. There is another hadith in Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number 2, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2439, where Ibn Abbas says, may Allah repeat with him, that when Prophet Muhammad said that the Muslims should fast on the 10th of Muharram, on the day of Ashura, some of the Sahaba, some of the companions of the Prophet came and told him that this is the day which is celebrated by the Jews. It's an important day for them. The Prophet said, next year, inshallah, we'll also fast on the 9th. But unfortunately, the Prophet did not live to see the next year. He expired before that. It's mentioned in Sunnah Nasai, Book of Fasting. Hadith number 2416, that the Prophet did not miss four things. Number one is fasting on the day of Ashura. Number two, fasting the first ten days of Dilhaj. Number three, fasting three days every month, the Ayyam al and praying the Sunnah Salah before the Fajr Salah. So based on this, we come to know that it's very good to fast on Ashura that is the tenth day of Muharram. But to be different than the Jews, it's preferable that you fast on the ninth also. So the best is to fast on the ninth and the tenth. But even if someone fasts on the tenth only, scholars say it's fine. Some scholars say that you can also fast on the tenth and the eleventh to be different than the Jews. Okay.
Thank you very much, Dr. Zakir. Dr. Zakir, could you outline these?